Jane Giroux has played many roles in her life, and now she's hoping to inspire women of faith with a luncheon series called Esther Women. She's here with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I love being here. Of course, of course. What is the significance of the title? Well, I've always been captivated by the story of Queen Esther in the Old Testament, and a mentor of mine, when I was feeling really overwhelmed as Cabinet Secretary of Tourism, Kay Dudley, who was Secretary of Appointments at the time, would always say, just remember, you would have created for such a time as this. And that was so comforting to yeah. me. I thought, you know, no matter what our circumstances, whether it's the best time of your life or the worst time of your life, God has a plan and a purpose for that period of life. And so I love the themes of Esther, and, and it really is amazingly similar to the themes of our lives today. Um, the despair, she was an orphan. Mm -hmm. uh, the time that she took to learn from others and her relationship uh, with her uncle Mordecai. Uh, so many uh, of the themes, that of courage. She was a woman of great faith, wow. great courage, of spiritual discipline. And it, they're just things that we can all learn from. Oh, so I put together this series of speakers and uh, they will just be telling their stories. So they're just real women, real stories of faith that I hope others can gain from. Yes, definitely. So yeah, tell us who will be speaking. Uh, I'll see if I can remember them all, yeah. but I know there are a lot of uh, fabulous women. Former First Lady Kim Henry will be September 7th. All the lunches are the first Wednesday of the month, except for January, and that needs to be January 11th. Okay. Jeannie McCullough, who's from Bethany, she also lives in Kansas City uh, and with her ministry and her husband, and Jeannie is one of the best Bible teachers in America, wow. so she will be special. Nice. Uh, Justice Yvonne Cogger from the Oklahoma State Supreme Court will be there in November, and Yvonne has a great story of mentoring, you know, those people who are kind of holy companions yeah. in our life that yeah. influence us so much. December, Lisa Boone is a speaker. She's a friend of mine. She's a hospice nurse. Everyone who knows Lisa is just uh, captivated by her ability to communicate her faith. Some amazing speakers. Amazing speakers. And in January, uh, something I'm really excited about is Kevin Durant's mother and Blake Griffin's mother. So here you have these NBA superstars yeah. and what was it like raising them? Yeah, really. <laughs> and they are boys who were raised in the faith. Okay. And then, gosh, Sherry Cole, OU basketball okay. coach, we're going to talk, uh, celebrate the memorial, mm -hmm. the bombing memorial, and really with the understanding of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Why do we remem Why do we remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is it important to remember, mm -hmm. even things that are painful? Right. And it's just going to be a great year. I'm so excited I, yeah, about it. <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds like it. So obviously, it's a luncheon, and people can pay, you know, individual luncheons, or they can they go can. to every single one. That's right. You can sign up for the whole season, and that allows a little bit of a discount. So it's $150 mm -hmm. for nine luncheons with these speakers, and we're just breaking. We're just trying to break even. And uh, then, if you want to just come to one or two, it's $20. But we do need to. Hear from you, so there'll be enough food for everyone, which I'm sure there will be. Yeah. Uh, but if you'd contact us, you can go to the website estherwomenokc.org, o r g, yeah. or you can call St. Luke's Methodist Church. But uh, it's easier probably for everyone that has access to a computer sure. to go online. It will be 11:30 to 1. St. Luke's Methodist Church was at 2:22. Uh, Northwest 15th, okay. uh, and it's in the Christian Life Center. Lots of parking, okay. so you should be able to really zip in and out. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. It sounds like a wonderful event, um, and you even have, from what I understand, uh, a male will be speaking at one of these. Uh, oh, that's right. Thank but, you. But I'm sure you know he's he's got words for no matter if you're a man or a woman. <laughs> that's right. Dr. Scott Carroll is curator of the Green Bible Collection, mm -hmm. and Scott actually I've heard him before and he told about Esther, mm -hmm. brought Esther scrolls. Right. Oh my goodness. So it was perfect. It was so thrilling. How exciting. Yeah, it sounds like a wonderful luncheon series. And like you said, your website, let's go ahead and say that one more oh, time. Oh please, estherwomenokc.org. Okay. Perfect. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.